Sometimes a wine can completely change your perception of a place. Today we're tasting a wine that might just do that. Do you know what this wine is? This wine comes from somewhere, a place that used to be known for bulk wine. But this, this is something special. And the first thing we'll do is to take a look at the color. Wow, this is a deep ruby purple. That level of color tells us we have grapes here with high anthocyanin levels. On the nose, it's rich and brooding. Black plums, blackberry, old leather, roasted meats, little dusty rocks and roasted herbs. Oof. That old leather and dusty rock notes feels like old world winemaking. It has dominant black fruit notes along with meatiness to it. This must be a feature of the main grape variety in this wine. Let's give it a taste. Lots of ripe tannin. It's quite full bodied with some heat at around 14.5% alcohol by volume. Acidity is middle of the road. And that savory element finishes with this lovely dried plummy note. So what do you think it is? A Carignan blend from Corbière? A Syrah blend from the Southern Rhone? A Tempranillo from Rioja? Or a Sangiovese blend from Tuscany? I think it's time for a master of wine. Christine Marsilio, maybe you can fill us in. What do we have in my glass? Let's break it down. All of these wines do have elevated tannins and naturally fresh acidity, and we'll have seen some oak aging. But for Sangiovese, we wouldn't see this depth of color. For Tempranillo from Rioja, I'd normally expect more of a vanilla and coconut aroma from the oak, as they tend to traditionally use American oak barrels there. That garrigue and dried herb aroma is often found in southern France, but if it were a Syrah-based wine, I'd expect a lot more black pepper. The intensity of that color and the tannins here point us towards Carignan. And top quality Carignan is often found in the Languedoc-Roussillon region. The Corbière region in Languedoc-Roussillon is a treasure trove for hidden gem hunters. Some of the best wines can be found in the foothills of the Pyrenees, where older Carignan vines produce concentrated fruit and higher altitudes ensure freshness. The rugged terrain here and the old vines alongside the warm Mediterranean sun produce powerful yet balanced examples of Carignan blends that are a great expression of the southern French terroir. Madeline, it's time for the big reveal. What are we tasting? Today we're tasting Domaine de Fonsante, their Reserve La Demoiselle. It's a Corbière Rouge. This wine showcases the depth and elegance that Corbière's and old vine Carignan is capable of. In fact, the vineyard here, La Demoiselle, was planted in 1904. Domaine de Fonsante employs traditional farming and winemaking methods. They farm all sustainably. And the wine ages in a combination of French oak barrels and cement tanks, which I think is what gives this wine so much more complexity. So there you have it. We are one glass deeper into the fascinating world of wine. And this wine is part of Wine Folly Club. So if you'd like to taste along, you can become a member. And we've got more videos like these coming up. So definitely subscribe if you'd like to learn more about wine. Until next time. Happy tasting, salut!